Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم in Surah Ali Imran إن الله لا يخفى عليه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al Verily, nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the earth or in the sky or the heavens. And when we reflect on that, there's a couple of ways to really contemplate the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first way so so verily nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heavens of the earth. So the first way of looking and benefiting from that ayah will start with the positive good for our benefit that will help our tawakkul, our trust, and strengthen and boost our iman, and that is that whatever difficulty and struggle that you go through, there's nothing that is hidden from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heavens or the earth. So he is full aware of your struggle. He's full aware of your needs. He's full aware of your good deeds and things that you're doing and how you're trying to please him and that you want to come back to him and that you were oppressed in such and such situation and you were not treated right in such and such situation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of all that. (laughs) Inna Allah la yakhfa alayhi shayan fil ardi wa la fil samaa. وكان الله وكان الله عليك عليكم رقيبة. and Allah subhanahu wa taala is a witness over you. He he sees you. He's fully aware of your trials and tribulations. The second way that you must be aware of also and that's from the janib or the way in which should cause some fear in your heart and should cause some shyness on your part and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of everything that you do And when we mention the ayah, in the Allah kana alaykum raqiba, that verily Allah is ever watchful over you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, likewise, aside from knowing your condition and your struggle, He knows fully your condition and your struggle. He knows the negative as well. He knows 
what you do and the sins that you try to hide from the people or maybe that you do hide from the people. Allah Tabarak Ta'ala is fully aware of that. So this should instill in us, Ahabati Billah, that khawf wa raja. It should instill that fear, that God fearfulness, that we're fearful of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearful of displeasing him and fearful of his jahannam, his, his punishment, uh, the hellfire. And it should also instill hope in us likewise that we are hopeful that we'll be recompensed for everything that we do because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sees everything. He's fully aware of your situation. And there is no protector, no supporter comparable to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. That is the best support and the best protection. And the Prophet said, If you seek help or assistance or support, seek it from Allah. So, that's Iman. That's that true, strong Iman seeking the protection and support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knowing that He, Tabarak wa ta'ala, can assist you in all of your affairs and putting your trust in Him instead of the makhluk, instead of the creation. So we hope if we reflect in every situation, although we see no one around us, we see and we believe no one sees us. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala witnesses everything. He's, nothing is hidden from him. You're good nor you're bad. And we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala the Almighty to bless our scales to be heavy with good and forgive us of our sins. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alayhi. وصحبه وسلم